What I'm going to show you today is how to clean your smooth top stove. You want to look at cleaning your cooktop like wax in your car. It's going to help protect, keep the dirt, grease, and grime from building up, and it'll help it clean a lot easier. So when you apply the cooktop cleaner, you want to use a good amount, like so. And grab your green scotch brite pad. Like this. And then start in one corner. And rub it in here. I might put the camera on a tripod to do this. Alright, so back to scrubbing. You want to go over every square inch of the top. Make sure you got a good coat of the Cerama Bright or cooktop cleaner or whatever you're using on it. Now if your cooktop's really bad, this is going to be the point right here where you would want to grab your razor blade scraper and scrape off any areas that you can't scrub with the scotch Bright pad. If you've got the burnt ring around one of the burners and you're scrubbing on it, you know, it's probably not going to come off right away. So when the, when the cooktop cleaner is spread around like this, this is where you want to use your razor blade scraper and just go ahead and Scrape off any kind of built up grease or anything that it's hard to, it's hard to get off. Like that. And no, you're not going to scratch off the white lines that outline your burners and stuff. I've done this a thousand times and I have, I've never scraped one off, so I don't think you're going to have to worry about that. Just scrub it in real good. And this is the point here where you'll be able to tell where there's areas that won't come off. Like this is nice and smooth. Then as I get over here, I can feel a couple, a little bit of a rough spot. Then I'm just going to use my razor blade. And now it's nice and smooth. And here's a couple more. Now, if your cooktop's really bad, you might have to do this two, maybe three times to get all the, the really burnt on grease off. But this one's not so bad. But if you have a big burnt ring around one of your burners, you know, you're going to have to scrub it, scrape it, scrub it again, find the spot you missed, and then re-scrape it. Always make sure you're using a new blade. As long as you have a new blade, you're not going to scratch the top on the uh, on the glass here. But if you're using a jaggedy, raggedy, rusty blade, then you will. Alright, so after we've got that spread around, what you're going to want to do is take one side of your rag, or one paper towel, if you're going to use paper towels, and lightly wipe off most of the excess. I'm not trying to wipe it all, all off right here. What I'm trying to do is just wipe off the real thick, heavy excess here. <clears throat> all right, now that the what's left on here is hazed over, we're just gonna go ahead and take either a new paper towel or a clean side of your rag, and then we're just going to buff this clean.
And there you have it. Now what this uh, ceramic writing stuff is going to do is going to go ahead and put a nice protective coating over top of this glass. So the next time you spill something over, it's going to come off a lot easier with the scotch bright pad than it will if you don't have any kind of protective coating. Just like waxing your car, it should be nice and smooth now. Your hand should glide over this. And of course, if your hand can glide over it, the food's going to come right off a lot easier. So there you have it. It's pretty simple. That's the, the easiest and the best way to clean the cooktop stove. So there you have it. Thanks for watching.